My name is Benji Rogers. I'm founder and CEO of Pledge Music. We're a um, global direct-to-fan platform. We help artists both raise funds and do kind of hyperactive, uh, incredible social pre-orders. Um, I began uh, life as a musician. Um, basically for about, you know, the majority of my life I, I toured, played in bands, uh, made albums, got signed, got dropped, uh, parted for creative reasons with record labels. Um, but uh, about four and a half, five years ago, I basically was lying in bed one night and I said, wow, I was bartending and uh, I was like, wow, what if artists would let their fans be a part of the making of albums? And uh, from there it basically blossomed into, well, oh, nothing exists that does that. What if we should build it? And um, yeah, and so I started it with, uh, there were four of us in a basement in Covent Garden, London, and then it's now expanded to about 35 of us around the world, including one in Australia. So basically what it is is um, there's crowdfunding and then there's direct-to-consumer platforms, and what we sit is in, in between those two is a direct-to-fan platform. And we're a platform where an artist can reach out to their fans and say, pledge here to be a part of the making of my new album. Mm -hmm. And from day one you get access to a special part of the site that has rough mixes, live tracks, demos, video blogs, and you can really share the process of the making of the album with the artists, um, with the fans directly. And then a part of the profits can be given to a charity of the artist's choice. So we began as this kind of one stop where an artist and fan had this moment. What quickly started to happen was the fans started saying, we want to discover more artists. So they wanted, the, they wanted this process with more people. They would say to us, why isn't Kings of Leon on here? Why isn't, you know, you know, why isn't my favorite band on here? So now our job is to go and get those favorite bands and say to them, listen, you should release your albums in this way because it's what the fans want. Rather than just saying, it comes out in six weeks, go pre-order it here. You literally take them along from early days right the way through. And as such, we've seen an average spend per fan in the US of $55. In Australia and Canada, both have very similar spend per fans, but in, uh, in Australia, the current spend per fan is $68 per transaction. Wow. So in a world where we're trying to sell $9.99 or $15.99 downloads, to get up to you know, over $60 is huge. And so it's kind of madness that it doesn't happen more often. <laughs> We began with, with kind of smaller artists. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I, I went out to um, a Big Sound a, f a few times, and now we're kind of working with sort of larger artists. We did a campaign for Slam, Save Live Australian Music. Um, we've worked with Ben Lee, who's a great Australian artist. Um, the Tea Party's Canadian, but they did one, uh, you know, big one under there. And at the moment, it's just small. It's it's smaller and kind of mid-sized artists coming onto the platform and uh, working with us. We worked um, just recently with um, the band's name is escaping me right now. Uh, no, it's gone. Anyway, I wish that's horrible when that happens. Uh, but we've been working with basically bands that are both signed and unsigned. And right. at the moment, it's really been kind of you know a successful market for us. So we're looking to put more time and resources and effort into uh, being there. The majority of customers, of music consumers, are offered basically a one-size-fits-all, buy it here. You know, there's, there's, there's six options to buy it on my website, or you can pre-order it on iTunes or buy it. Mm. And so you just simply can't spend that much. Whereas what we've done is opened that up to where you can actually pledge to be a part of it. And that's just worth more to the fans. It's worth more money. You know, we looked at in the US, the average music consumer spends $68 a year. They'll spend $68 per time on one of these campaigns if it's offered. So to not offer it is simply madness. And I think that it's the reality of it is that um, when you say to a fan, would you like to just buy a product? They'll say, yeah, great. But what's the most they can spend? Whereas if you say to someone, would you like a test pressing uh, and a signed handwritten lyric sheet plus access to the album as it's being made, they'll pay for that nine times out of 10. So it's really a super, a super fan. It's like an iTunes for the super fan, if you will. They can do everything they want, but they get to watch this process as it unfolds. So yeah, that's why.